I would like to start with you first here, David. The theme this year for World AIDS Day is Equalize. Why do you think this theme is important and specifically for India, how relevant is it? Look, it's a critical theme and I think it's important because when we look at new HIV infections and AIDS related deaths, we really see that they lay on a fault line of inequality. Inequality is driving those new infections and contributing to those new HIV AIDS related deaths as well. So the theme Equalize is really a call to action. It's a call to action for us to really look at ways in which we can increase access to services. Yes. So those services from prevention, testing, treatment and care are more equal and accessible to all. It's also a call to action for us to look at laws and mm -hmm. policies that may be getting in the way of our response to HIV. Absolutely. Uh, David, norm, uh, nationally, like we've been talking about, the figure is 24 lakh people are estimated to be living with HIV, but 19 lakh people living with HIV know their status. Similarly, about 16 lakh people in our country living with HIV are on, uh, you know, the, the antiretroviral treatment. How do you think we can bridge this gap <coughs> on te about testing and treatment? Sure. Look, I think... Um, as you've just outlined, there are clearly still gaps in the response, and Mona has alluded to those as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. But let's also just pause to also acknowledge some tremendous progress here yes. in India. And just to, and it's the only time I'll talk about statistics, so I won't uh, no, of <laughs> go course, on because and it's on important. and on. It's good to see what good has happened, yeah. I think, yeah, the positive. I mean, if we look back over the last 10 years, India has made some tremendous progress. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has reduced new infections by 50%, and it has reduced... AIDS related deaths by nearly 80 percent. Mm. Now this is a tremendous um, shift forward. Um, our goal however is to achieve 90 percent reduction in new infections and 90 percent reductions in AIDS related deaths. So there are still clearly gaps in the response, gaps that we need to mm. address and gaps that need to be fine-tuned. Yeah. Um, David, we've been talking about, uh, you know, you, we, we did, you've been telling us how we could improvise. But if I ask you about the SDG goals, Ravi spoke about it, uh, you know, we've been talking. How do you think we can achieve it? Um, and why is it so important now, specifically because COVID has even made the situation or slowed down the process? Let me put it that way. Yep, sure. So look, just to take a step backwards and to explain what the SDGs are. I mean, back in 2015, um, member states of the UN, so countries came together, including India, mm -hmm. to look at a 2030 agenda for sustainable development. And in that agenda are 17 goals that will enable us to jointly, as a, as a, as a globe, as, a, as member nations of this planet, achieve a certain amount of progress and development. Mm -hmm. Now, in those 17 um, sustainable development goals, which we call the SDGs, yes. there's one that addresses health. And in the health goal, there is a ambition to end AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. And again, that is about reducing new infections and reducing AIDS-related deaths. Mm. Um, it's an ambitious goal, but it's a goal I'm confident that we can achieve. I just want to ask you a question, uh, David, on the mother-child uh, transmission, you know, uh, and record, I mean, our campaign, we really focus on nutrition as well as mother and child health. The health. Uh, David, uh, what are the interventions that can help bring us down? Because it's still in India, if you talk about uh, the pool prevalence, it is as high as 8.76%, which is very high. Yeah, yeah. Look, still, it's a gap in the response. Yes. And, and it's a gap not only in India, it's a gap in a number of countries. Uh, the critical point here is that it should no longer be a problem in any country. We really should be eliminating mother-to-child transmission. Mm. Um, in an exciting development in partnership with the National AIDS Control Organization last week, uh, an alliance has been formed nationally mm. uh, under the lead of NACO, uh, but with UNAIDS, with UNICEF, with WHO, and a number of other partners in country to see what we can actually do to accelerate action on this particular area. Yeah. I mean, there's so much more that needs to be done in terms of prevention, uh, preventing new infections and ensuring that we, we, we take mothers, pregnant women through a range of services, ensuring that they are tested early. So a whole range of interventions, really looking at testing and linking people to treatment.